<laughs> a big old. Okay, as a statue of civil as a person and as a musician, who do you think you represent? As a person and as a musician, who do I represent the youth? Yeah, <clears throat> I think uh, the Kenyan youth like have so much talent and potential, but uh, the problem is they uh, they probably don't have enough capital to showcase their talent. You know, um, and that's where I come. In. You know, um, I remember like when I started music. I was looking up to people, like you know, hoping that they give me a chance. So, yeah, so um, I feel like there's there's a lot of uh, hidden talent out there, and um, you know, opportunity just doesn't give itself for them. So I wanna like you know do as much as I can to uplift like you know the youth, especially the ones who wanna become musicians. Yeah. Um, what do you think about the whole Big Brother phenomenon? People on TV uh, deciding that they're going to sit down and just watch other people. Yeah. Like, uh, do you think it's a mind game? Like, what, what do you make of something like it is, It is a mind game, most definitely. And, um, you know, uh, the Big Brother you know, family, uh, they're very smart because the show is not for one month or two months, it's three months. Had the show been for like four months, then people would be losing their minds. Three months is the most that a human being can take in an environment like that. So it's definitely mind games. Um, you have to be very careful how you play everything because everything happens in that house for a reason. Everything, nothing is second guessed, you know, or they just, you know, woke up and decided to do everything is is planned for. Yeah, so definitely a mind game, and you have to have a, um, a mind frame of a warrior, you know, such as myself. <laughs> so would you say that um, how you were perceived to have treated Goldie, yeah. like a lot of people thought that you know you were not nice to her, yeah. okay, nice enough, like yeah. you put it that way. Yeah. And right now you've just said that it's because even you weren't sure exactly. what her intentions were. Exactly. So do you think it's unfair for people to say that? Um, I don't think it's unfair for people to say that because the most important thing is how I feel about Goldie and how she feels about me. We had a conversation and you know like I just confessed, I'm like you know I thought she was playing a game, you see, but only for us to come outside the house and she was still very cool with me, you know what I mean, and it touched me, it moved me, the only thing that consoled me was the fact that you know it was a game and you never know, you know, there's a time I thought Goldie nominated me for eviction, but you know it was just paranoia. So I, I don't think it's unfair for people to say that. I just, you know, um, I hope and pray that they actually find it in their hearts to forgive me. You know, at the end of the day, I'm only human. You know what I mean? And if Goldie can forgive me, then you know, uh, I think Africa should as well. Um, what about the arguments that you've had with Barbs? Yeah. Um, there's a way that. It doesn't really come out very clear exactly why the arguments were taking place. Mm. Do you mind explaining? Yeah, um, you see, first and foremost, like when we got into that house, people came in, you know, with their alter egos as well. You see, me being one of them, you know what I mean? Um, Bugs was a control freak. And, you know, Bugs already, like, you know, mesmerized all the girls there. So Bugs would say jump and the girls would be like how high. She says run, they'd be like how fast. You see, it wasn't cool. Um, I felt like I had to step in and then, and then um, Bugs would always be diff difficult. You know, she wanted all the girls to be around her. Some giving her a pedicure, others a manicure, others, you know, fixing her coffee. And I was like, come on, man. So. Considering the age difference between Bob's and the other ladies, she had more experience with life. So part of her strategy is what actually used to make us end up having an argument. Um, because she would be all up in everybody's face 
and she wanted everybody to treat her like you know she's God's gift to Big Brother, you know, kind of thing. I have nothing against it though. Um, it's just like you know, if you're my sister, I'm your brother. You know, like if I do something wrong to you, you have all rights to sit me down and tell me A, A, B, C, D is not. I'm not cool with it, you know. Rather than just smile and you know, deep down inside, you know, you're not impressed by what somebody's doing. Talking about alter egos, sometimes why do you refer to yourself as Prizo instead of saying me? You know, you say, yeah. yeah, that's something that, you know, Prizo is very happy or something. Yeah, yeah, I mean, you know, um, I'm proud of the guy, you know what I mean? And I think he needs to be addressed appropriately, so, you know, um, Prizo, you know what I mean? Um, it's just a habit, I guess, because when I'm with my mom, I'm a totally different person. Um, when I'm out there, I'm a different person. You know what I mean? So I believe, you know, Jackson McKinney, he's the guy who was in the Big Brother house. Uh, Prezo is that artist who has gold teeth. He asked us to come up with a slogan. Now, they love my t-shirt. They want me to work with their, um, with their team in the States and see how that goes. When I go there in September, you know, um, something's got to give. Believe it or not, man, um, before Big Brother, I wanted to start up like my own reality show, do that reality show and everything, only that, you know, this time I don't have to report to no diary rooms. You know, Lord, my dream is to do this, this and that, you know, please shower me with your blessings. So, so you know what I mean? Like, care for what you ask for, because you just might get it. Um, be totally honest, so from day one was present till the last minute. I'm comfortable with myself. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Have a good day. Enjoy the rest of your day. <laughs>